welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who are new, my name is Sanjana and today I'm here with another makeup tutorial. <laughs> I recreated this look created by Anastasia Vo Voe Vodina. I hope I said her name right. <laughs> but I will link her social media down below. I created this iridescent pink kind of graphic liner eye look. And if you want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep on watching. So I'm just clipping my hair back and just going to start off by preparing my skin and face. I went in with the Hero Lip Balm in the scent Vanilla just to kind of moisturize my lips. And then for my face, I went in with the Glow Recipe Pineapple Serum and I'm just applying just a whole dropper of that um, all over my face. I'm going in with the Best Brows Ever Kit by Anastasia Belly Hills and I'm just going in with the Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown and just using the spoolie side to brush up the brow hairs before going in with the pencil side just to kind of fill in any like balding spots on my brows. <laughs> This is actually a new product to me, but I'm also trying the Dip Brow Gel, uh, it also in the shade Dark Brown, and just applying that all over my brows just to kind of set them in place, and I personally don't think this product is for me, only because my brows are already naturally so full, so I don't need that extra colour, but I feel like this would be such a great product for someone who does have very little or very sparse brows, so yeah. Now going in with the Colourpop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 18, I'm just using that to clean up underneath my brows as well as applying that all over to my eyelids as an eye base for the eyeshadow. Now I'm just using a light setting powder from the BH Cosmetics Shade and Define 10 color contour palette and I'm just using that to set the concealer in place. Now going into the Anastasia Beverly Hill Soft Glam Palette, I'm going into the shade Dusty Rose and I'm just applying that all over my lid with a fluffy blending brush and just lightly winging it out towards the outer corner. Next I'm going in with the Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Sequins and I'm just applying that all over the eyelid um, with my finger that way I can get the most um, payoff compared to using a brush. shiny does this shadow look. I'm going in with the Colourpop Super Shock shadow in the shade Summer Loving and I'm just going over the top of that previous shimmery shadow because I felt like it wasn't doing what I wanted to do, it to do. I wanted it to be a bit more shinier and a bit more brighter. Um, so I went on top of that shadow with this. I'm just using my finger and then getting a bit more precise with the brush but doing most of the work with my fingers. Um, but yeah. 
Also, I'm not entirely sure if these shadows are discontinued or if they are still available on Colourpop's website. I know that Colourpop release things and discontinue things so often, so I do apologise if it is discontinued. Okay, now for the fun but very difficult part, the graphic liner. I went in with the Juvia's Place Black Gel Eyeliner and I am starting on my wing. So as you can see, I kind of go upwards along the direction my lower lash would continue if it were to continue. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just creating a line and then joining it from the top to my lash line and uh, yeah hopefully you can see how I'm doing it because I know I suck at explaining things but yeah Okay, so I'm creating a curve in my inner corner, as you can see, just like a crescent kind of um, curve. <laughs> and then using my crease as a guideline, I'm just going a little bit above my crease and I'm just creating an arch for the crease liner effect. So I do mess up a few times, but not to worry, just grab a little bit of concealer on a flat shader brush and just kind of fix up around your liner in the areas that you do mess up and kind of just blend it out and add more shadows in that area and then go over with the eyeliner and just kind of fix it. Definitely do take your time, this is a very tedious step, um, so don't rush it unless you're one of those pros that can do liners in one go. But I am not there yet, so yeah. Now looking at the look created by Anastasia, she kind of left a gap in her top liner so I only thought it was fitting to do the same, as you can see. So taking a quick snack break, I'm literally going to do the other eye off camera and I'll get back to you guys soon. So I'm just curling my lashes before going in with the CoverGirl Exhibi Exhibitionist <laughs> Mascara. You don't understand the dilemma I was having pronouncing that word. I literally, I was saying it correctly but for some reason in my head it sounded so off like I had to get Google Translate to say it um, to convince myself that I'm saying it correctly. But yeah, I'm just coating my lashes with that mascara and then I'll be using the Ardell Demi Wispies 120 False Lashes. Um, I find that they are the most prettiest, flirty, girly, fluffy, simple, wispy lashes ever. Like, I love them. They're my favourite and I would highly recommend it for anyone who is probably starting out wearing lashes for the first time. Um, as well as someone who wants something a bit more simple, but that does make a difference, if that makes sense. So yeah. So I 
just realized that I completely forgot to record my base makeup so everything I used on my base I'll link in the description box down below I also used um, sequin and summer loving on my lower lash with some mascara and then for lips I went in with the NYX matte lip liner in the shade cold brew and then I went in with the NYX butter gloss in the shade Madeline and that is pretty much it you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this look just as much as I did let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below like this video if you did enjoy it and yeah don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video bye